Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm doing an unboxing and first look of the Onyx Apex Lace of Training Gloves. So stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys, Carlo here, and today I'm excited to bring you guys an unboxing and first look of the Onyx Apex Boxing Gloves. Now, I got mine in 16 ounces. You can get these in 12 or 18 ounces. Um, these retail for $225 through the Onyx website. Uh, Onyx is a company that was founded by Trevor Whitman, who is a world-renowned uh, striking coach. He's worked with many professional fighters, both boxing and MMA. Um, I did a review a couple of years ago on the Onyx X-Factor Gloves, uh, which are the high-end gloves that are probably in the more popular gloves that are more well known. Um, they probably have the best uh, wrist support system that I've ever used and are actually meant to be used without hand wraps. Uh, they have a heat molding technology when it comes to the inside foam that uh, basically takes the shape of your hand once you start using it and you heat it up with like a blow dryer. Um, but what really makes them special is the internal strapping system that really uh, puts your hands in the, the perfect uh, fist position and gives you the, I, mean, I get, I'd say the most optimal wrist support I've ever uh, felt on a boxing glove. So I got these Apexes. Um, the biggest difference obviously is going to be the cost is going to be, these are actually $80 cheaper than the X factors. Um, and they only make these in lace up. So let's go ahead and open these up. Um, I believe the other big difference, obviously other than cost is going to be that the Apexes are, are advertised as being gloves that you, you're supposed to be used uh, use with hand wraps. So uh, where the X factors, they tell you not to use hand wraps with these. Uh, you're supposed to use hand wraps with these. So that being kind of the, the key difference between the two. But we'll also see here, once you get these gloves out of here, uh, what other differences there are with these. So uh, we have that there. We have that beautiful Onyx bag with black and silver. That looks really good. We'll go ahead and take these out. All right, so we have the bag with the gloves in there. There's also, and I think these also have that same heat molding technology, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I have the invoice in there, don't need that. Um, and yeah, so these actually have the heat molding technology as well. Um, so right there, Onyx Sports, heat molding technology. Um, it shows the X Factor as the picture. So they have the X Factor lace up and the X Factor Velcro. That's the one I did a review on. Scan QR code for heat molding instruction with your mobile device camera. So uh, you can use your, your phone, um, scan that, and then get the instructions. Um, and you can do testimonials. And then there's uh, what's really cool about this what Trevor does is he actually has an inspection report. So, you know, again, I, like I said, especially with the way. Uh, the boxing equipment market it is all about the little details um, and that's what people are looking for especially if you're paying a premium price for a piece of uh, a pair of boxing gloves materials and scratches tears and defects stitching uh, strapping lacing correct length and placement hand position correct form on fist position so it's basically like a quality control thing you know before it heads off to whoever the new owner is going to be you know you kind of go through the checklist which is which is great you, you like to see that Serial number, packing the appearance form product is ready for packing. Uh, date completed was October 8th, 2021. Um, inspected by, I'm not sure whose autograph that is. Maybe it's Trevor's autograph, but it says with the homes, you maybe uh, somebody else, but who knows. So that's with that. Um, it comes with this very similar, if not the same type of bag. I got the X factors in and let's pull these gloves out. And wow, that looks great. Beautiful looking glove and very similar to the X factors, um, but there's going to be some, you know, notable um, key differences here as well, I'm sure. And uh, it actually has a, a foam insert right there that keeps the kind of the shape of the glove. You pull the laces out. I'm going to go ahead and pull that insert out that it comes with. So you have that foam insert. Pull that out to the side. Here's the right glove again, 16 ounces and the left glove foam insert as well and here you have it so the material is exactly the same as the x factors as they are here in the apexes 
Um, the sizing and dimensions of the gloves looks the same. Um, the notice, other noticeable difference is instead of using gold as kind of the accent color on the apexes, um, they use silver. So you have the onyx that's embossed into the synthetic leather material. This is a synthetic. Um, if, if you guys get a chance, go to check out Trevor Whitman's YouTube channel, an onyx channel. There's actually some videos of him showing you guys the durability. And I'll put these in the description box. That way it's just easy for you guys to navigate through it. Of him actually showing the durability of this, um, this material that he uses. Uh, but it's probably some of the best um, synthetic material out there that's, uh, that lasts a very long time, if not longer than leather. Um, so it's really, it really comes down to personal preference in terms of the material, but it's definitely a very durable material. So you can see that there. Um, and uh, yeah, just a really cool looking glove. Going to the back right here, you can see the lace-up system. Um, one thing you'll notice is that this doesn't actually have a strapping system that goes into the back of the glove. So that's probably the biggest difference with these gloves compared to the X-Factors uh, from the first look of it is that the laces on here are all external. So you can see that the laces on this kind of peek through and they kind of come back out, come back in and then go across and then they go through these little nylon loops. And essentially you have these two right here that's gonna do kind of similar thing with the X-Factors is the whole premise is to pull the thumb in towards so you can really make a nice tight fist. And you can see the lace-up system. Uh, another thing that's pretty noticeable is the opening on the palm is big. Um, when you have hand wraps on, that's going to give you a more comfort so it doesn't feel so tight and, and doesn't feel like it's cutting off circulation. You have ventilated holes there as well, as well as right here on the palm. Um, nice pronounced grip bar. It actually feels really hard. I believe, if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken, that's probably a rubber tube in there. It doesn't feel like foam. It actually feels like a rubber tube, almost like a smaller diameter garden hose that he, slid, he slides in there, which is, is nice. It's nice pronounced. You don't have any issues with that deteriorating or, or kind of crushing down on itself. Ventilated holes right there on the palm and nice attached thumb. You know, the quality on these look really nice. I mean, there's a couple areas where you can kind of see the stitching kind of peeking out right there. Um, but outside of that, everything looks really clean. Um, right here, it actually says Onyx Authentic. And that is actually the uh, uh, little cloth patch. Um, I don't know what happened here. This looks like some peeling on the outside edge. Oh, actually, no, that's not. That's just some sticky residue. So never mind. I got a little bit of sticky residue right there. I'm going to throw that off, get it off my glove. So never mind. That's just like some crap, some goo that needs to get come off. Um, and then it says 16 ounce on the other side of the wrist and the Onyx logo. And then you also have more of the embossment on the back of the wrist. Uh, now the wrist support itself, it's about, I'd say an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter of, of uh, stiff foam padding. And you can see the glove is nice and rigid throughout the entire glove from the bottom of the cuff through the midsection towards the top of the glove. So the balance is excellent. Obviously we just opened this up, so I don't know how true to weight these are. I'm assuming they're gonna be right on weight is my best assumption. Um, but one thing I noticed with this glove is it just feels super streamlined and like one piece. And, and that's what I really like about that is it just feels like a one solid piece glove. You don't feel like there's a, a hinge point or two separate pieces. Sometimes with boxing gloves, you feel that there's the upper portion and then you feel that there's the wrist section. With this, it feels like it's just all one solid piece, which I like. Um, it's going on to this right glove. And I like the design. I like the look of it. You know, the material that they use on the exterior looks really good. The design of the glove looks, looks kind of futuristic, but at the same time, it doesn't look like over the top. You know what I'm saying? Like there's gloves like Venom that has 5 million logos on it and 13 different designs and zigzag patterns and all that. And um, it just feels like it's too much, right? But with this, it actually looks classic, has enough branding on it to not make it feel like it's over marketed, but it looks clean too. You know what I'm saying? Like it just looks good. And then again, here's the laces. I do like the flat laces. And what I like about these thinner flat laces, these ribbon laces, if you want to call it, also has a plastic tips. Uh, 
is when you lace them up, they stay, they stay laced. They don't come undone. And then there you go. You can see the lace up system. Uh, when I use these gloves and I train in them, I'm going to get some footage to show you guys uh, my hands getting wrapped in these, or should I say, get my hands getting tied off. That way you guys can see just um, how these are tied up. You know, if it's easy, if it's hard and my thoughts on the wrist support. So that's, that's the big thing with these gloves, obviously is the padding and the wrist support. And again, you know, same, a good amount of, of padding. And I love the liner that Onyx uses, that Trevor uses on here. It feels very silky and smooth. Some of the best line I've ever felt in terms of just pure comfort. I, I, it's really hard to describe, but um, silky smooth is probably the best description for it. Uh, and again, oversized palm hole right there. Um, you know, with this glove, you could you could tell that he put a lot of thought into it. You know, it was, it was just not like some, you know, tossed together Pakistan made glove that was a carbon copy of what else is out there. You know, that, okay, let me just make another winning replica and just throw my logo on it. No, you could tell that he actually, you know, there was a method to everything that was with this glove that was designed on here, which I can appreciate. So we we'll go ahead and slide my hand in here and get my, my hand into position. All right, so it is kind of right off the bat, it's a little snug, so I'll probably have to undo the laces to kind of get that a little bit looser. So I'm gonna undo those, loosen the laces up. A little common sense goes a long way, right? I'm trying to slide my hand into a glove that has the laces all on tight, and then I complain that it's too tight. Kind of dumb on my part. Anyhow, so putting my hand in here, um, Man, that feels really good. Um, one thing I do notice is the the liner again feels great. And you know, I've been kind of on a roll lately with these gloves that have this system. And I'll have to say that Onyx was probably the first that did it. But you could see um, if you guys saw the other week, I did the Protex, uh, not Protex, my bad, the Powerlock twos that have that overlapping system, and then you kind of tie it down, and it brings everything together and Onyx was kind of the pioneer of that. And you can see they did it here too, where you have that flap and then you have the outside flap that pulls everything together once you lace everything up. And then the inside flap kind of pulls in and tucks underneath the other. So it's really hard to see just because the laces kind of camouflage it. But you can see you have that internal pad and then this one goes on top of it. And then this external right here is what kind of pulls everything together. Okay, so my first impression is it has a relatively uh, broken in feel. Um, the thumb positioning is perfect. It's definitely on the tighter side still. So the one thing I had an issue with with the X-Factors was how tight this piping was. And I feel the same thing here. So um, I'm thinking that's gonna be kind of uncomfortable. I'm gonna have to break that in. Uh, even, especially I'm gonna be wearing hand wraps with these. I might, might not wear hand wraps with these just because of how tight it feels, but I definitely feel a little bit of tightness and maybe some discomfort right here on this fat part of my thumb. Um, the other thing I noticed too, is that um, you wanna make sure you use the heat molding technology with this because there's this big step lip. You can't see it obviously because it's enclosed, but in here, this is actually kind of hollow. So the fingertip compartment in here feels good. You have that like kind of almost feels like a wetsuit neoprene. It's kind of like the material that it feels. So the finger compartment feels good, but there's a big piece of foam over it that feels almost like a step, like a lip. Um, so you, you want to make sure that you scan that QR code, go to their website and use, use a, a hair dryer to kind of blow in there to really mold the foam to your hand so you get more of a customized feel. But it feels really good. Um, I'd say that the foam is definitely more on the firm, dense side. You can see there that me pushing down on it, it's pretty dense. So. I could definitely foresee this being a very protective glove together along with the wrist support. Uh, but yeah, so that, that's kind of the issue right now is just this thumb being really tight. Let me go ahead and do the left side. That's going to take a little bit of breaking in. So, And again, these are the kind of gloves that you're going to have to have somebody lace for you, which let's discuss that here in a second. Okay, I lace, uh, loosened up those laces. Slide my hand in here, it's kind of a... So again, as I'm putting my hand in here, 
it's just really tight in this section right here. And I, I understand the, the point behind it because you're, you're really trying to make sure your thumb is positioned properly, but it's, it's, it's just really tight. It's almost like I wish that there's a little bit of room right there, kind of loosened up a little bit. Because you already have the laces going through that's going to pull it over. So I, I just feel like it's extremely tight. And these are the 16 ounces, so I, I can only imagine how tight the 12 ounce versions are going to be. And it's like, once your hands are in, they feel really good, but that's definitely on the tight side. I mean, and my hand can't go back very much. I mean, that's a very um, rigid glove. And I mean, the emphasis on wrist support is, is maximum. I mean, like this is the most wrist support you're probably going to get out of a boxing glove. Same thing with the thumb. They, they feel good as far as the length, no jamming. Finger compartment feels good. You can feel the lip of the foam, that memory foam, that heat activated foam, if you want to call it. You know, the grip bar feels really good. Uh, the, that's just the biggest thing is the, the comfort of, and tightness right there on the thumb is my biggest qualm with this glove. The next thing is the lace-up system. So um, the great thing about the lace-up system, obviously, is when you're utilizing it the way you're supposed to, is that you're really going to get the best wrist support with these gloves. That's awesome. There's nothing wrong with that. The bad news is you're going to have to have somebody lace these for you. And typically when I use um, lace-up gloves, on just regular boxing gloves, I'll use my lace and loops. Um, the good thing about that is you don't have to bother somebody to come lace up your gloves for you, um, unless you're the fortunate one that has a coach that can do it for you every day and not get irritated with you. The bad thing is that with lace and loops is that you don't, they're not the same as having somebody lace them for you. If you have a pair of lace and loops, you know that. It's because these upper laces right here, even when you tie, tighten it down with the lace and loops, these upper laces don't tighten down. It's just kind of like this lower section when you pull on the lace and loops and you wrap it around your glove, that gets tight. So you'll still have a looser portion up top here that you still need somebody to tighten these for you. So that's gonna be kind of the main um, drawback of these gloves and why I think the X Factor is the more popular gloves because they have a Velcro version um, of the glove or you know, obviously of this type of glove that has that wrist closure support system um, and you don't have to bother anybody to put them on for you so i, I think you know obviously if you're going to be at 225 dollars most people are going to be like screw it i want to be able to do my own gloves i don't want to bother somebody i don't or i don't have a coach i train on my own i'll just spend the 80 bucks extra get the x factors and just be able to velcro and strap them on myself without having to worry about lacing them up so i think that's going to be the biggest issue aside from the pinching of the thumb being really tight right here with this piping is going to be the fact that to get the maximum benefit of this lace-up system you're going to have to have somebody lace these for you um, otherwise if you do use lace and loops it's just not going to get the same um, tight snug feel that you would uh, if you had someone do it for you even with lace and loops you're still not going to get that um, you know if you're using this just for you know hitting the mitts doing some double end bag work you know, medium to light training, then you could probably get away with just using lace, lace and loops so that you just don't have dangling laces. Um, or even use maybe, you know, I dare to say, um, you know, elastic laces, which I, I know would be sacrilegious to use on gloves like this. But again, I'm just thinking about alter alternatives. But outside of that, um, you'll have to have somebody do them for you. So overall, I'm really impressed with these gloves. I'm, I'm looking forward to really using them and seeing how this thumb breaks in over time. Um, I'm gonna hop in here in a second into the bathroom and get me a hair dryer and you know, uh, mold the foam to my hands and get this all ready to go so I can start training with them. And then we'll be back in a couple of weeks to do the review on these gloves and, and give you guys my thoughts. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these Onyx Apex Lace-Up Boxing Gloves. I'll see you guys later. Take care.